Builders. Thanks for coming to learn with me, Mrs. E.K. Today we're going to work on building words and sounding them out with prefixes. A prefix is a meaningful word part we can add to the beginning of a word to make a new word. That new word is going to have a new meaning. Prefixes give us clues as to what our new word could mean. Here's our prefixes we're going to work with today. Pre and over. When we add pre to the beginning of a word, it's going to mean before or in front of. And today when we add over to the beginning of a word, it's going to mean too much of that thing. Will you read these prefixes with me? Pre, over. Nice job, Scouts. I have a lot of words for us to practice today with those prefixes pre and over. Now, when we sound out the word, remember we do it, we loop it by syllables. Over, the prefix over has two syllables. So you'll see me say over when we loop that word. Are you ready? All right. We're going to add the prefix over to the word bake. We will have over bake. What word? Over bake. Do you see that picture? Oh, those look like some burnt muffins. I think maybe that they were baked too much or too long. Yeah? So those muffins must have been over baked. <laughs> Our next word, we're going to add the prefix over to the word joyed. Overjoyed. What word? Overjoyed. Do you know when I was 10 that they had a surprise party for me? And when I walked in, I was very much surprised, but I was also overjoyed. Oh my goodness, that someone would do such an act of kindness for me. Now, joy is a feeling of happiness. So you, if you are overjoyed, you have too much joy. You can't help yourself and your body may show that you're so excited, right? All right, our next word, we're going to add the prefix pre to the word heating. Sound that out. We got pre, heat, ing. What word? Preheating. So this is when you heat something before you cook it or before you cook something. So I thought of that maybe I would be preheating my oven when I wanted to make a fresh batch of brownies. You'll notice on the directions that they always do tell you to preheat your oven to a certain temperature. So it means to heat your oven before you start cooking. <laughs> All right, scholars. Our next word, we're going to add the prefix pre to the word cleaned. And we have pre-cleaned. What word? Pre-cleaned. I wonder if you've ever pre-cleaned at school before the end of the day. Maybe you picked up some paper or some markers that were on the floor. And that means that you pre-cleaned up before the janitor came to actually clean the classroom. That's also an act of kindness. Nice job, scholars. All right. And what if we add the prefix pre to the word paid? We would have the word prepaid. What word? Prepaid. Nice job, scholars. And prepaid means that something was paid for before you actually got the item, right? So if maybe you go to school and you have to pay for your lunch, maybe your adult prepaid for your lunch for the entire week. That means they paid for your lunch before you even ate it, right? Yeah. Did you notice something about the ends of some of these words? You're right. Some of these words have suffixes as well added to the base word. So our base word joy had the prefix over, but it also had a suffix of ed, meaning past tense. He had the suffix ing added to the word, which made it preheating. And our base word clean had a prefix of pre with a suffix of ed meaning it had already happened, right? You already cleaned up beforehand. All right, 
Let's go ahead and reread these words one more time, scholars. We have overbake, overjoy, preheating, precleaned, and prepaid. Nice. All right. Now it's going to be your turn to practice writing some of these words with our prefixes over and pre. You're going to see some sentences pop up on your screen, and they're going to be missing a word. We're going to fill in that blank with one of our words that we practiced today. All right? So I'll wait here while you go get a paper and something to write with. All right, are you ready, scholars? Will you read the first sentence with me? The teacher felt when he found out that he had won the lottery. Hmm. The teacher felt when he found out he won the lottery. Which one of these base words is a feeling word? Ooh. And how do you think a teacher might feel when they win the lottery? Did you write overjoy? You're absolutely right. Oh my goodness, I would be shouting and jumping and hollering to win the lottery. That would be exciting. You would be overjoyed. Nice job, scholars. Will you reread that sentence with me? The teacher felt when he found out that he had won the lottery. <laughs> nice work, scholars. Sentence number two. Read with me. My mom told me that the dishes must be before putting them in the dishwasher. Which word are you going to write down? What might your mom tell you that the dishes need to be before you put them in the dishwasher? Remember, before is what the prefix pre means. What does the dishwasher do? Clean your dishes. Did you write pre-cleaned? You're absolutely right. Sometimes you have to kind of rinse off your dishes and make sure there's no chunks of food on them before you put it in the dishwasher where it actually gets clean. So you will pre-clean the dishes. Nice work. Will you reread that sentence with me? My mom told me that the dishes must be pre-cleaned before putting them in the dishwasher. All right, sentence three, scholars. Read with me. I had to pay when I ordered the cake because the baker said that special orders must be, hmm, that word pay in our sentence is a big clue. Did you write prepaid? Because you're absolutely right. That means that you had to prepay for your cake before you got it because you were making a special order, right? Let's reread that sentence with our word prepaid. I had to pay when I ordered the cake because the baker said that special orders must be prepaid. Yeah. All right, scholars, sentence four. It was almost time for dinner, so I used the stove when I was the spaghetti sauce. Hmm. Which one of those words would fit in that sentence? It's almost dinner, so it's not dinner yet. So it means it's still before dinner. Ooh, there's that prefix pre. What might you do to spaghetti sauce? Did you write preheating? Yes, that word fits in our sentence because we have to preheat the spaghetti sauce before you eat it. You don't want cold spaghetti sauce, do you? Let's reread that sentence. It was almost time for dinner, so I used the stove when I was preheating the spaghetti sauce. All right, scholars, last sentence. Read with me. Make sure to check the cookies in the oven so that they do not. Ooh. Make sure to check the cookies in the oven so that they do not what? Well, we bake cookies in the oven. Which one of those words would fit in our sentence? Did you write overbake? Great work, scholars. Oh, I cannot stand it when I overbake the cookies. 
And then they're all hard and too crunchy to eat. So make sure you gotta keep you gotta keep checking on those, right? All right, let's reread our sentence with the word overbake. Make sure to check the cookies in the oven so that they do not overbake. Nice work, scholars. After practicing reading and writing words with prefixes pre and over, start looking for them in books you're reading at home. What new words can you find? This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the state of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by and by viewers like you. Thank you.